the the old the old award. And here it is. The official charts company. Numero uno. For this guy. Um Yeah. So thank you very much. Spent a lot of time a lot of time. Anyone that makes records and any artist watching this can join in if you write your own songs and voice crack if you write your own songs and you play all the instruments and you are heavily involved in production if not produce them yourself and mixing you will know that it takes a lot of hard work and dedication for a very long period of time and every day for a year or so uh, thank you Grammy love you um, when this is all over I am taking you up in that invite and I'm coming over for dinner until then I'm on my own <laughs> um, yeah but as I said it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get the job done and it's not just I think you know if obviously as as fans you would never get to see the ins and out ins ins ugh, what goes on um in the studio etc um so you know i guess you don't get to see what happens i guess you just see it on the friday when it's released and you know what i mean and um, then you, you take it from there but beforehand it's there's a lot of stuff that goes into it so when an album goes number one or it gets streamed a certain amount of time or bought a certain amount of times it means that there's ears on it like i i worry about charts and stuff because i want more more and more people to hear it you know i'm not worried about it's never like a a money thing for me or anything i like it's i love to do what i do and you want it to be successful if you've spent loads of time on it um so that's why but yeah it's been very well received and i uh thank you all very much um, and I sincerely mean that because it's a crazy time as I said at the start and yeah that's it that's all I have to say has anybody got any good questions for me do I know what flicker songs I will sing on tour yes I do I've already been through that um uh I'll obviously do the obvious ones and then I'm going to do like a rolling set list. So the set list won't be the same at every gig. You know, I might change every other night. Um, so yeah, the answer to the question is yes, but I won't have the same set list all the time. Love the album, uh, a squirrel underscore 11. Uh, love the album. What's your favorite song? My favorite song is black and white. I'd say, What's my, f Anna Clara, what's my favourite line in Dear Patience? Um, God. I guess the most tr truthful and honest line would be in the chorus, you know, because um, I fall too fast and I go down blazing. I mean, that says it all, doesn't it? Can you write a song? Someone said, can you write a song about love? <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> Any 1D songs in the set list? Um, right, as of now, no, but... Uh, I'll have a look into it. I might do a little acoustic thing or something. Because I have so many songs of my own that I want to play as well. Um, but I might do a little acoustic something or other you know how I like to throw them in oh Justin Bieber says can you write a song about chicken tenders yeah I give it a go we should uh, pull the minds together JB and uh, <laughs> and see what we can come up with question Talking about nuggets. 
Chick-fil-A or McDonald's? Bieber. Saw you on the Late Late Show last week. You were great. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, it was great. I obviously been friends with um, James and James himself and Ben and uh, the executive producer. Been friends with them for a very long time. Ben did uh, all of the 1D music videos and basically did our movie as well. And just kind of been like a, a mentor to me for years. Great for advice. Honest friend. Uh, and I'm same with James, to be honest. And then, obviously, I'll be coming out, going on the show. It was a great laugh. We had, a, we had a great time uh, performing every night. Me and James doing sketches. Um, never done much acting before, so that was a good laugh. Uh, yeah. So it was good, successful week. It's easy to do work like that when you're. Uh, it's not really work because you're basically messing around with your friends. But it was good fun. And I loved that show. Sometimes I like, if I'm in LA and I'm like in West Hollywood, where they shoot the show, I'll just kind of pop in and have a coffee and just go in and sit in the office with the boys before they shoot their show. Um, so I'm down there all the time in here. What was my favourite song to write and record? Um, I guess the song that probably came the most natural was Pull a love on me, or still, I find the sadder ones are a lot easier to write. <laughs> because if you mean it, the words will come flying out, and it's um, they're a lot easier to write. I guess the most fun was probably black, black and white. Um, black and white was I can't even explain the feeling. Sometimes I still like if I talk about it, I get like goosebumps talking about it. The feeling. The energy in that room. I hate the word energy, by the way. But the energy in that room, just... I've never felt it. Anything like it. It was like... The words were coming flying out. It was just... Straight away when you start a song with four on the floor, that... <laughs> it straight away brings in ex excitement. Um, but it just the song came together so well, and the idea just turned into melody and melody turned into lyrics that just kept coming and the, just the vibe in the room was just unbelievable myself scott explicit um teddy oh so, so fun will i be singing black and white on tour of course one of my favorite songs i've ever written that would be silly wouldn't it favorite line from the entire album my God, what a question. You know what? I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to... Um, look at this, by the way. These are the albums that I still have to sign. <laughs> Where... I'm going to pull up. They come like this. <laughs> And there's about five, six boxes, like, with about, I think there's like a thousand or fifteen hundred in each. No, no, there's probably more in this one. There's probably two thousand in this box. So, I'm gonna pull it out. Here it is. The number one album in the UK this week. Heartbreak Weather. The UK and Ireland this week. Also, by the way, Ireland. I mean, I'm Irish, so it's 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 gonna like there's a natural. We like you know, a natural pull, but to be the fastest selling album in Ireland this year is a joke. The albums that have come out this year, it's just unbelievable. Um, like I put those tour dates on sale, just bang like that when 
some shows were really struggling um because of how busy touring is at the moment that everyone's going on tour um so and when the irish shows just went like same in belfast just whew, um just insane never seen tickets go like it in, in, in a very long time but uh yeah right let's have a look through i mean the writing is pretty small isn't it i think the writing's small because my thank you is so big <laughs> is it not over two pages no it's not they've got it they've made the writing that small I, when i wrote that it took up like a whole nine pages of my copy of my book that i write in Let's have a look. Um, Favourite line on the album. I'm literally looking at songs now. Um, I mean, there's quite a few in Cross Your Mind. I think lyrically, Cross Your Mind, because it was written as a ballad, it's like an emotional love tempo. So it's like, it's your world I want to live in, it's your ocean I want to swim in. It's your show and I'm just watching. Losing you is not an option. If you leave me like a message in a bottle and you don't come back tomorrow, at least you came tonight. It's easy to pretend that I'm not caught up, but when you get hot and bothered, you can't give up the fight. <laughs> Who wrote that? Who? Come on, baby. Uh, and then put a little love on me. Uh... <clears throat> are you all dressed up with nowhere to go which is has never been more relevant um i mean just I, i've a couple of times this week i've dressed up and gone absolutely know her so i've just resorted back to just tracks of bottoms and t-shirts um but yeah heartbreak weather the number one take your screenshot now I can see that i can see that already on the internet um yeah pretty uh pretty sweet great picture too i like that some of the pictures in here have you, has anybody had a proper look they took it took me forever going back and forth which favorite which pictures i wanted to like save for like posters which ones i wanted on merchandise which pictures i wanted in as covers of magazines if people asked uh all of that stuff and then which pictures I wanted to put in here. And some of my favourites ever taken of me are in this thing. Because I'm like really picky about... Have a look. In different things. Got a really pointy nose, don't they? Uh, I like that one too. That's a good photo. And then this one. Oh, look at this. Moody. Moody as fuck. Look at that fella. I'm not going to lie. We shot that last summer. Probably the warmest day in Los Angeles last year, I think. Um, here's me, Moody, looking out a window. Uh, God knows what I'm doing here. It's me leaning against the wall. There's me pretending I own this car. There's me just... Oh, Niall, turn around. What? What did you say? I'm, there's a camera there. Yeah. I thanked everyone in this. It's so much good. So I see so many of these thank yous at the back of albums, and it's like... If that took you about four seconds, you don't give a shit. Because I'm like... I read these things... Like I get CDs and or vinyls or whatever, <coughs> and and I like these things. These are cool. We'll always have them. Things are got the music industry will change and streaming will be streaming, and, but we'll always have shit like this. I've got fucking vinyl in here that's like fifty years old. Um. Yeah. So I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure that I thanked everyone. I thanked everyone here. I think. <laughs> I 
Lovely. So if you haven't got one of these, go and get one. And not, I don't mean the sheet of paper, the CD that comes along with it. <laughs> um, yeah, please go and do it. Don't think that it's just over on week one. It's only getting started. Let's get the show on the road, people. Yes, model, correct. Not wrong, Petal, not wrong. Oh, I didn't say it was bad. Everyone just, like, assumes the minute I take the piss out of myself that I'm being serious. <laughs> I said my nose is pointy. This mean it's bad. Sexy nose. <laughs> God, one day. What are we going to watch on telly? Honestly, Hard work, this is, isn't it? It's either the news, MasterChef, Gogglebox, which is people watching TV. Could do without that because they've watched enough TV. Television's gone to shit, isn't it? Connor, I don't know who. Number one, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, I was going to, do you know what? I was just about to say, Connie, you coming over, but no, you're not. <laughs> uh, I have a load of uh, gin there that, right, um, my new best friend, Connor, you've been seriously demoted. Uh, my new best friend, anyone who I was friends with before, forget about it. You're all gone now. Because. My number one, I've got two man crushes. One is Ryan Reynolds, the other one's Michael Bublé. And I know both of them. Just end of. Don't even have to say much more. Ryan Reynolds is the funniest man on the planet. And uh, yeah, he sent me a couple of bottles of his gin. And it's good. It's very good. Drink responsibly, people. Drink responsibly, I must say that. But if you're a gin, if you're into your gin, that's where it's at. Pew, pew. I sound like I'm doing like ads for him now. Oh, what's this, Kobe? Kobe and Shaq. Oh, a little TV special on Shaq and Kobe by the looks of it. Flicker or heartbreak weather? I tell you what, that's the toughest question. <clears throat> different, re different loves for different reasons. Like, I love um, Flicker, first thing I ever released. Um, so, like, the types of songs that I wrote, the style of it, I love it. But, I am four, four, maybe about four years older now. So, you know, you're going to grow up and do different things. And I think the natural growth is heartbreak weather. It's a bit more up-tempo. It's more fun, but still deep. It feels like a natural transition without... Like, I don't think anyone listened to my album and went, Christ, he's really st stepped out of line there. He's... He's gone too far. <laughs> well, if you think different, tell me now. Or forever hold your peace. Am I in London? Yes, I'm in London. Um, the pubs are closing forever now. So, and restaurants. So that's eating out, gone. There's pints done. Cafes as well. So that's no coffee. Apart from espresso machine in the house this is gonna be great fun <laughs> can't wait Woo. 
But it's a must. I mean, the case, the the cases, you know, the amount of cases going up every day is scary. No one's listening. Well, people are listening, but I don't think the young people are. Has anyone got any recommendations for this? For, like, oh, look at this. The two boys are chatting. Kobe and Shaq. I'm pausing that. I can't miss that. Anyone, any recommendations for Netflix? Because, so I like true crime. I like things like the jinx uh making a murder uh what's this thing on netflix the other day the pharmacist um what else do i like just mad stuff mad stories <clears throat> not really into like sci-fi or anything like that um kind of has to be a touch realistic for me to really like it Oh, Goddard Millie says I've gone too far. Have I gone too far? Then why are you watching my Instagram live? If you've if I've gone too far, leave. Go around to Rita's. Are you talking about Rita Ora? She won't text me back. I've texted her. What's my favourite quarantine activity? Uh, I mean, I very rarely left this spot. This exact spot. I've also chipped golf balls along that carpet about 50 times. Oh, what's that over there? Number one, baby. Uh, I mean... Elite, okay. And what's that? Criminal Minds. Okay. What? Lucifer, Blacklist. Marriage Story. I've seen Marriage Story. Because I did um, Saturday Night Live last Chris at Christmas with um, the lovely Scarlett Johansson. And she's obviously in it. I think she was on it. She was on SNL for that reason. Um, so after I did SNL with her, I watched it. It was so good. Yeah, Ted Bundy tapes, I seen that, that was brilliant. <laughs> Peaky Blinders completed it. Love Peaky Blind Do I have TikTok? I think so. Someone does. <laughs> Taylor Swift, Miss Americana, seen that, brilliant. Sorry, I'm just reading all of this. People sending in their stuff. <laughs> the Shadow Hunters. That sounds like a bit of me, that. <clears throat> you should pass the time by learning TikTok dances. Probably not. If I could only go, Owen McDermott said, if I could go, only go on one more talk show ever. God, that's a good question. I mean, what is it? Because my career is over or because we're, I don't know, what is it, the end of the world or something? Because I could see James, because I'm friends with him, I could probably see him more often. So I wouldn't necessarily have to go on the show. And I just did a week on it. 
Uh, I absolutely love Ellen. I get on really well with Ellen. I really like her. She's the best. Um, I love Fallon. I love Jimmy. Jimmy's the man. I love Kimmel. Go on, it'd have to be James. Oh, yeah, it'd have to be James. James is shot. For the boys, you know. We'd have a bit of a laugh on it. Hello, Owen McDermott. What are you doing? Hopefully more than this. Andrew Byrne. Hosier is here in the comments. Say hello, everyone. Andy, I loved your uh, live earlier on. Brilliant stuff. It's an Irish takeover in here this evening. How's uh, the isolation uh, treating you, Andy? How unbelievable is Jose here, everyone? It's a joke. The talent in that man's body is insane. Comes from a family of artists. If I'm right in saying it, your mum is a painter, right? Or an artist. Oh, eating biscuits, good lad. <laughs> the Irish are great to have in a, in a time like this. We're just a good laugh, aren't we? Ah, sure, to be grand. <laughs> mad stuff mad stuff people what's your favourite Hosier song I've got um, I've got a fair few I'd say my favourite is Jackie, Jackie and Wilson. Cherry wine. Movement. Oh, God. Oh, I fall in love just a little, a little bit every day with someone new. Irish music, huh? Flying. It's crazy. Dermot. Dermot is on fire. Went to see Dermot's show in um, LA. And I seen him at Glastonbury in the summer. Holy moly. Unbelievable um, talent. If I could have another person's voice, who would it be? <clears throat> I think Caleb from the King's Leon. Lead singer of King's Leon. Joke, his voice. Uh, Andrew says, no judgment is an outrageous banger. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Falling slowly yesterday was amazing. Yeah, thank you. I love that song. It's kind of like a... You have to know that if you're Irish. 
It's also a banger. Um, great film. Glenn is a legend. Do I listen to the Lumineers? Yes, I do. Love the Lumineers. They'd be one of my favourites. <coughs> Can I drive? Yes, I can drive. <laughs> Do I like Quentin Tarantino movies? Unbelievable. Tarantino is the man. Um, I love Inglorious Bastards. Um, love, I love the new one. Once upon a time, you could be here forever. I love Guy Ritchie. I love Scorsese. I love no Christopher Nolan. Yeah, love all that. <clears throat> My favorite Eagle song. Uh, I think Desperado is one of the greatest songs of all time. In music ever. Uh, I love another ballad called Waste of Time. I love a song called New Kid in Town. I love Life in the Fast Lane. Obviously love Hotel California like everyone else does. Um, <coughs> what else? Loads of tunes. Did I drink water today? I drink more water than most humans. I drink about four litres a day, three day, three and a half litres a day, three to four litres a day, easily. That's my skincare regime. Agua. Favourite Irish band? Wow, hey, what a treat of a question. Thin Lizzy, you too. <laughs> My voice is so gone from all the singing. Did I watch Jojo Rabbit? No, I haven't got around to Jojo Rabbit yet, actually. That's a good show. Scarlet as well, right? Favourite song of Lewis Capaldi? Um, I love... Uh, Don't give me wrong I love to stay too long Don't give me wrong First place I'm going to go after a quarter straight to the pub. Honestly. I think if they tried to put a tour date in on the first date that we're allowed out, I'd cancel it. <laughs> and don't give me wrong Well, I love to stay too long Don't give me I love to tell you whatever you want Well, haven't you had enough of all of this? And haven't we had enough of all of this? Where is Lewis? I don't know. Home, I suppose. I texted him today, he didn't text me back, which is unlike him. No one wants to talk to me today. Fuck them. Favourite artist at the moment. Favourite new artist would be Holly Humberston. I know I keep talking about her, but she's unbelievable and she's got a new song out right now. Um, came out this week. 
Um, God, I don't know. It's a tough question. Favourite movie at the moment, 1917. Banger. Sam Mendes. Um, incredible story. And just really well done. Robbie Henshaw, where's Mully? Uh, God knows. Won't talk to me. Haven't seen him in ages. Wrapped up in the new missus. Can't get a word in edges with him now. Well, I'd love to tell you wherever you are And haven't really had enough of all of this And haven't you had enough of all of this Don't get me wrong No, 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 no Don't get me wrong I love to tell you whatever you want and you Got that Capaldi song in my head What song should I learn on the ukulele? Uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Someone just said, you're in the dark. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock Holmes. You are unbelievable.
<laughs> Come on, ask me some questions. little question section here can I click into it there we go if I could only play one instrument guitar I can only play a guitar to be honest um what's an activity what's an activity I'm gonna start um not so much an activity, but I'd like to get good at Spanish. Oh, if I had to condense Heartbreak Weather to five songs, what would I pick? No, I can't. Can't. Someone says you've got a serious look. Uh, no, I'm just trying to find a good question. It's all just random. <laughs> oh, 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 can't stop yawning. <laughs> MTV said, what's my favourite day of the week? <laughs> I love a Sunday. I used to hate Sundays when I was a kid because it just reminded me that I have to go to school tomorrow and I haven't done my homework. Uh, Tierney says, uh, anyone, anyone selling a bike? <laughs> Weirdly enough. Tierney, what are you up to? Tierney. Do you want to do a thing with me? Tierney, I bet you want. No, he declined. <laughs> oh, I knew you would as well. 
I'm not going on that there live on the gram. You'll sit in the comment section and talk shite, won't you, Tierney? But you won't come on and talk to the people. I haven't showered in three days. <laughs> Oh. My, you know when you like try to click on the thing to to, you know the little smiley face thing in the corner says who wants to go live. And I can't get, I can't click on that. No, I've actually ended up spinning the camera around. No, I don't want to do that either. Oh look at this! Do you remember this? Woo, baby, nice major. Yes, someone said, how bored are you? Very is the answer to that. Is the heartbreak weather one gone? I can't find it. No, it's not there. Maria Fossey. No Masters this year. No. Maria Fossey, for those of you who don't know, um, was playing in the... The Augusta National Women's Amateur last year. Um, against uh, what well, she played in it, and then she came second to Jennifer Cupjaw. Uh, Marie is now playing on the LPGA Tour. Unbelievable player, ridiculous. Hits the ball at ten thousand miles. Someone said to me, "Are you single?" Yes, why? Can you tell? <laughs> Body coach, Joe Wicks is here, everyone. The man who has, who is going to take over the world. Not that he already hasn't, but he's gonna. Because guess what? We're all at home and we all need to work out. So if you don't know who Joe Wicks is, first of all, you must have been living under a rug. And second of all, you should go and see him. His name is Joe Wicks, Body Coach, YouTube, 20 minute half an hour workouts look very straightforward not very straightforward him and uh, him and uh, Ellie Golding have been doing him and Ellie Golding have been doing a couple of workouts online this week which has been really good Robbie Williams I'm not answering your question Right, Joe, what song are we playing, bud? I'll just play the whole guitar from up here. Even if I wanted to. Joe Wicks, you want to come on, come live with me, bud? No, that's a no. The body coach is unable to join. No, doesn't want to chat to me. <laughs> Just seen a message that really made me laugh, but I can't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Will I be signing any more CDs? Yes, I will. I've got like about 15,000 over there that I need to sign. So the answer to that is yes.
some of the messages coming in now are funny. <laughs> Where is Ad Lewis? How do you do that? Is he online? Capaldi, are you there? Thank you, Miss Caroline Downey. I love you. Apparently Alicia Keys is doing one of these as well, so that's why. Favourite room to design in a house? Ah, oh. Living room. Uh, I love doing my living room, and I also... I love create, like creating spaces to sit. Like finding little areas and doing them up. Favorite course on the PGA Tour and go. Wow. Uh, I do love Riviera. It's rock hard, but I like it. I've played it a couple of times. Um, congressional. I mean, I know there's majors. Um, God, what's a good one? I haven't played many PGA Tour courses, actually. Is interior design something I like? Yeah, I love it. It's brilliant. Yeah, I love doing it. 